so welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a video that's a little bit different than what I've been doing, but um, something that I think might be interesting to some of you. So um, I am going to show you how to make my crock pot Italian beef. Um, it is the middle of summer, but it's a stormy day and I am in the middle of doing some kitchen organization, so I need I needed something that would be ready by dinner time, but something that I don't have to worry about you know, cooking myself or just kind of does it on its own. So, um, and if you hear in the background, my little ones are watching a movie while I organize, so you might hear them playing around in the background. But basically what you'll need is some, um, like a, a roast of some sort. This is a chuck roast and it's of course boneless. You'll also need a packet of zesty Italian dressing, a, um, you need 12 ounces of, um, pepperoncini rings but or just pepperoncini peppers um, but I tend to use a little bit more so this is 16 ounces um, you can you need a 12 ounce container of my uh, jardinier but if you wanted to use spicy you can and then 10 ounces of organ well it doesn't need to be organic but this is Trader Joe's organic Trader, Trader Joe's organic beef broth so um, that's what you need. It's very simple and I will show you exactly how I make it. Okay guys, so what I love about crock pot recipes is it's basically just a dump and pour method. Now what I do is spray a little bit of cooking spray on the bottom of my pan and that just helps so that the meat while it's cooking doesn't stick to the bottom and leave something that I don't want to spend time cleaning up. So. Basically, you just stack all your ingredients in. I'm going to wash my hands really quickly because I just touched me. Okay, so, you know, the recipe calls for specific amounts. Typically, I just eyeball it. Um, you know, it's pretty foolproof um, in terms of how much of each ingredient. So, typically, I add more than what the recipe calls for. Now, this is mild jardinera. Jardinera. So I spread that out, and then for the pepperoncini peppers, I do drain those a little bit. You can see I do leave some of the juice in there. I just dump those out. And then what I'll do with the beef broth is just kind of... You know, not necessarily cover the meat, but give it a good area to soak in. Again, we use a lot of au jus on our beef sandwiches, so having that much liquid isn't a problem. And then, and then I just sprinkle the Italian dressing all over. give that a stir and then all you need to do is cover it and put it on low and cook for eight hours now I serve this with um, you know sandwich rolls that I toast in my toaster oven for a little while um, I, you know I roll a little bit of butter on there and then toast them in my toaster oven for a little bit and they come out nice and crispy, and then when you add all the au jus, it just kind of balances out. So I will show you a, a clip of um, the recipe when it's all completed. Alright guys, so here is the finished product. We toasted the buns a little bit and put some cheese on there that's provolone cheese and we just serve it with some fries. Mm -hmm. 